Hello, YouTube friends. Let me say good good afternoon to you. We're going to show you what we've been up to real quick. That garden is about done. And we're going to get in here next week, maybe in the next two weeks. We're going to get these tomato plants out of here. The pepper plants are about done. And, uh, We've been picking seed off of that again. But all we really got left is these here sweet potatoes. And I got a feeling that them sweet potatoes didn't do that good under the ground. So we'll take whatever we can get. We'll be happy with it there. But uh, I'm going to take you down here and show you this. Say hi, Brenda. <laughs> We're getting ready to go down to Fish Pond Lake. Yep, she said in about two weeks, if nothing don't happen, we're going to bring the tear dry. This will actually be the first time that we ever took the teardrop out. It's a real long story about the teardrop. We started working on this thing about three years ago. And uh, just something happened in the family there. And we could never, we just, we finally got it done. We got it done actually last year. It's been sitting in the garage here. But uh, we're getting ready to take the teardrop out. <clears throat> We're going to go down there and spend a little time with them fellas down there at that, uh, I think it's called the Bushcraft Gathering. I believe it's in Electric County, Kentucky, ain't it, Brent? Yeah. At Fish Pond Lake, man. We hope to see you guys down there. But uh, Brent and I went up to the uh, Quad State. And we were not impressed at all with the quad state, but we got to do some more research on that. It just some things happened, and uh, the quad state thing didn't work out for us. But we did get a few blacksmith tools while we was up there. Got these old, uh, some of these old tongs here, and they pretty old. We got to oil them up. And See if we can't get them loosened up a little bit. And we picked this stuff up today at a flea market. I cannot believe that I found this fuller at a flea market. Cannot believe it. I was just tickled. And then a pair of tongs for little or nothing. And look at here. Look what an old file handle. I've never seen a file like this before. This will come in real nice and handy at the blacksmith uh, in the shop there inside the inside the barn. But we wanted to show you. And we did pick a set of tires up for one of our trailers. And we got a bunch of hinges. We need the hinges for that door over there on the cabin. Me and Brenda, Brenda been running around this weekend like a couple of teenagers. We're not ashamed a bit to say it. Right, Britta? Right. We've been running around like a couple of little teenagers. We're going to be cutting that broom corn real soon. I'm going to take you down there and show you what's going on with broom corn. Let me show you a little close-up of the broom corn. Um, we're probably going to wait till about the middle of October or towards the end of October. And we're going to be cutting the broom corn. And as I, you know, the only part we want is this part right here. This is what you make the broom out of. We never had any serious problem with wild animals, with the broom corn, with the exception of the birds. <coughs> Excuse me. Came in here and ate most of the seed off. Not most of it, but uh, you can see here. Them birds came in here and about picked it clean with the seed. But I think we're going to get enough seed off of there to uh, 
raise us a fairly nice crop next year. Well, that's what Brenda and I have been up to today, this weekend. We've enjoyed ourselves. We hope your weekend's been good and you've enjoyed it. We want to say God bless to you. Thanks for coming by the channel and watching the video. We appreciate it for sure. If you feel like subscribing, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll know when we got another video up there. Leave us a comment. And share the video if you feel like it. We'll catch you later.